Centuries of history woven knot by knot into treasured works of art. My recent trip to Armenia took me to a place where these treasures are made. Take a look. 160 years old that was ripped in two helped reunite a family torn apart by tragedy. So during the genocide, a mother had a thought to split this rug into two pieces, gave it to each of her daughters and told them, if you lose each other, then maybe with the help of the two parts of a rug, you can find each other again someday. A rug with an incredible story to tell among the many beautiful treasures at Megarian Rugs in Yerevan, Armenia. The next rug is called the almond rug. Here are the shapes of almonds. The almond symbolizes maternity and fertility. The factory itself has its own incredible story, a family business that started in 1917 in New York with showrooms internationally. But the heart of the company is based here in Yerevan. Today for weaving the rugs, we only use the Armenian double knot technique and natural dyes. Our tour guide, Galina, was joined by company owner, Rafi Megarian. We watched in awe as the rug makers demonstrated the weaving technique. They work so fast, it's hard to see it, but we're told the double knot is what makes Armenian rugs unique. 4,800 knots for one line of a large size carpet. Each weaver makes about 25,000 knots a day, and that translates into a long time investment to get the job done. An average size rug takes nine months to weave, just like when a woman is pregnant. It takes nine months to form the baby. Megarian Rugs has 22 weaving facilities in Armenia, providing jobs to thousands of workers, creating works of art that grace the walls and floors of churches, homes, and places of historic significance. From the loom, what the loom you see, they cut it, and uh, now I went to wash once or twice, and uh, now we do the finishing. Finishing is going to take about one month. Nine months to completion, a literal labor of love, creating heirlooms for families that even keep families together, like the genocide rug, torn apart by tragedy, but reunited two sisters 50 years later. All of my stories from Armenia, as well as other videos and pictures from the trip, are posted on the Armenia page on our website. Just go to yourcentralvalley.com. Hmm.